Hello and welcome to Bloodsport MMA. Salam alaikum, Habibi. Marab Dwalishvili versus Umar Nurmagomedov? This fight is allegedly in the works. Makes no sense for me, especially for Marab. Why should he take that fight? For Umar, it's a perfect one. But for Marab, why would he take that fight? Very weird. I don't get the matchmaking. What is going on here? All in that video, guys. Before we get to that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, would highly appreciate that one click, guys. Also make sure, if you have time, click the like button, comment something down below, I would highly appreciate that. And now, let's go to the topic. So, Marav really is probably, yeah, next to Sean O'Malley, the number one contender right now. Because no one has a resume and is on a winning streak like Marav, right? And he won't fight his friend Aljamain, who is at this moment of this video still the champion. Depends on how the fight against Seudo goes. If he loses against Seudo, I can definitely see Marab fighting Seudo then. No, Sean O'Malley will fight him first, but you, you know, Marab could fight for a title soon. But as long as Aljamain is his champion, he won't fight for the title because that's his best friend and we have to respect that and I see why. The UFC though, they don't really like it. Dana said it several times already in interviews that he doesn't like and he does not support it if fighters do not want to fight their friends. I disagree with that. I think it's um, loyalty. I could not fight my friends, to be honest. I could not do it. Some people may are able to, but I understand them completely, uh, 100%, and I'm on their side, but the UFC does not like that. I think it's disgusting. And if the UFC does not like what you do, the UFC will punish you. Allegedly, there's nothing confirmed, but allegedly, per multiple sources, Marab versus Umar is in the works. When I saw this, I was like, huh? How does that make sense? Like, huh? Bro, with all love and respect, I always said Umar is a future champ. I like Umar a lot, but Umar beat nobody. Raoni Barcelos, Brian Kelleher, all these names that any casual knows who of course i know who they are but they are no big draws he did not beat anyone until now that is some somewhat a, a contender or something and as much as i believe in umar's skill it is undeserving for me if you i don't know if they're even i don't think barcelos was ranked so he probably never beat a ranked guy it just but i know he's ranked himself it's just not fair for me, it doesn't make sense that he jumps the whole line to fight Marab and especially for Marab, Marab has nothing to gain in that fight. If Marab beats Umar, what happens? Nothing! <laughs> He's still the number one contender, nothing happens bro. It's it's much worse than Sean O'Malley versus, versus Piotr, much worse. Like it, It's nothing to gain at all for Marab, nothing. There's no value in that fight. If Marab wants to fight someone like Corey Sandhagen, there's value in that fight against Mar against Umar, no value. And for Umar, it's everything to gain. I mean, if Umar loses, no one will care because it's like, yeah, it's a bump in the road, you're still young, you're still very young. You have everything in front of you, there was a good learning experience whatsoever. He has nothing to lose. He can go in that fight completely relaxed in his mind because if he wins, he won everything. All the money, all the belts. He's number one contender somehow, even though I wouldn't agree, but ranking wise, he takes the ranking of him. If he loses, Whatever, he lost against the number one contender. He's so young, still new to the UFC. If that fight is really in the making, that is a pure punishment from the UFC to Marab because he's not down to fight Aljamain. And it's just wrong, it's just wrong. Marab should fight Sandhagen. Uh, Sean O'Malley fights the winner of Seudo Aljamain. And by that time, Marab and, and Sandhagen already fought, so the winner of that will fight the winner of Sean O'Malley and uh, whoever, um, and so on and so on. That's how it should go. It just doesn't make any sense. As I said, these are only rumors, but as far as I'm concerned, these are pretty good sources um, that we saw all over social media. And I hope these rumors are not true. I hope it will not be confirmed. Maybe until this video is out, it is confirmed, I don't know. Write in the comments, guys, what do you think? Is this just a April Fool's joke? Does it make sense for you? Is Umar deserving of that shot? Who would you have in that fight? Because I think that's a closer fight than people might think. So write all in the comments, guys. I would highly appreciate that. Make sure to like this video. As I said, subscribe to the channel. And that you will get your number one contender fight. Eat your vegetables, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bloodsport out.
eat your vegetables.